Hey guys, we're Molly and Toby, and we are giving you our top five national parks of the ah! South. We're gonna count down five to one, our very best national parks in the South. We've spent two months road tripping from Miami to LA and back again, going to all the national parks we can. So here they are. Number five on our list is the Grand Canyon. Now, no top five would be complete without this iconic national park. It's in there only at number five because whilst it is a Grand Canyon, it's very big, it's beautiful. You can see it from the South Rim. It takes a long time to drive anywhere else. You can trek in and there are a few trails you can do that take a very long time. But ultimately you get the same view of an amazing canyon over and over again, which is fantastic. But it's still in our top five, so the Grand Canyon makes it in. In number four would be Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. Now these two, while technically separate, are run by the same kind of team, so we're going to put them together. They are stunning from the biggest gorge in North America to the beautiful trees of the sequoias, the largest in the world. Largest tree in the world! This place is definitely somewhere you should stop. Making it into the top three on our list is White Sands in New Mexico. It is a haven of amazing white dunes, acres and acres and acres. It goes on almost until as far as you can see, but then you're surrounded by mountains. You get, you can like rent these plastic boards and jump down the white sands of your heart's content. The sledding. The hardest part is coming back up. Um, despite only having been created a national park a couple of years ago, this blew some of the others out of the water and we would really, really recommend you going, hiring a board and staying to sunset. It was fantastic. It gets a little cold, but the views are spectacular. Freezing, it, it gets freezing. <laughs> Number two on our list will be the Great Smoky Mountains. This is America's most visited national park with an average of over 12 million visitors per year. Well, we are currently in Great Smoky Mountains. Here it is. It's pretty, it's very pretty. Great Smoky Mountains delivered on its name. We went to the highest peak, couldn't see a thing. There was way too much haze and fog and smog around, but it is spectacular. And you're guaranteed to see lots and lots of wildlife. We saw bears, more bears, and then baby cubs. It was amazing to see them playing out in a meadow. You get white-tailed deer, you get coyotes, and quite a lot is accessible via car, or actually it's the best way to get around. So it's perfect for driving through, driving to, and then getting out, walking around, or cycling. It's spectacular. Now, number one on our list would be Yosemite. Now, it was probably gonna be a given. It's always in people's top one or two, um, and that's probably just because of the variety that's there. The queues are long to get in, there's a lot of people around, but ultimately that's for one very good reason. That's because Yosemite is fantastic. You've got mountains, you've got meadows, you've got valley floor, you can go whitewater rafting, you can go horse riding, you can go rock climbing, you can go hiking, you can camp. If you're lucky enough to secure a place, secure a place about a year in advance, you can camp there. If you can stay in Stanislas National Forest the night before, there's some free camping spots or there are some paid campsites. Um, you are pretty much right on the doorstep. So if you can't get into Yosemite itself, try Stanislaus National Forest. And once you get into the valley itself, not only have you got some of the most famous, uh, iconic views in uh, the whole of America. You also can buy pizza while looking at those things. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a variety of trails you can do from the moderate to the strenuous, all day hikes, if not longer. Magical. It is a very magical place. And that's why Yosemite is our number one national park in the South. Some honorable mentions that we'd like to shout out with the Channel Islands National Park, underrated, but excellent. We saw humpback whales on the way there. Yeah, Big Bend in Texas. It's a hell of a drive to get there. It's a hell of a drive to get anywhere once you're in there as well. But it's phenomenal. Some phenomenal views. You I'd can, argue it's better than Grand Canyon. You can see Mexico. And last but not least, honorable mentions, Carlsbad Caverns, a spectacular cave. There's no arguing with that. It's awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll put the full list of national parks we went to below so you can compare and contrast. If you disagree, I'm always going to get attacked by a bee. And make sure you like and subscribe below to come and escape with us.
just start, just say, it's this one. Number two on our list will be the Great Smoky Mountains. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Number three on our list is White Sands in Arizona. It's in New Mexico. <laughs> Number three on our list is White Sands. The people wanted the bloopers, <laughs> the bloopers were making themselves. 